I'm just like doing a question out video once a month or so just to let you get to know me a bit better. If you want to leave questions to this in the comments, please do and I'll answer them in my next question and answer video. If you want to see my first one, click on the link. My good friends at Table for All asked me whether I would play PC games or console games. I would have to say I would rather play console games rather than PC because that is what I have grown up with. I have played console games for many, many years. Whereas I've only recently started playing PC games and really all I'm playing is games like Minecraft and occasionally League of Legends and things like that. But mostly I still play console games. My friend James Colwood asked me whether I prefer Mac or Windows. Much like console gaming, I've grown up with Windows and that is what I'm used to. But recently, with coming to university and doing filmmaking, I have used Mac a lot more to help with that process and it's slowly tipping the balance in favour of the Mac. I'm sort of loving the best of both worlds, be able to use Windows and be able to use Mac as well. And that is the best thing for me. Another YouTube user asked me who is my favourite Game of Thrones character. At first my favourite character of Game of Thrones used to be Ned Stark because he was the main focus but as time goes on my current favourite is Tyrion because I like his style, I like the way he acts, he's just so brilliant and he's part of this family that you would consider sort of the bad guys of a TV series but he does what he needs to do to order them and he asked me on Twitter what horror or psychological sort of thriller universe film I would like to live in. I'm not a massive fan of I really two genres but I do like a few and if I had to live in one universe even though it would be incredibly dangerous film universe to live in I would have to live in the Scream universe. That is one of the first sort of horror films that I really sort of connected with and was really interested by. Dave Dot Barzell asked me on Twitter, can I imagine a life without YouTube? There are many, many years I've been without YouTube and it's only been the last couple of years or so that I've been really interested and involved within the YouTube community. So I can easily imagine a life without YouTube. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Can you imagine a life without YouTube? And lastly, my friend Life of Oscar asked me why am I doing another Q&A video? Well, because I can. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy my Q&A video. It's been fun and I'm going to do another one in the future. So if you've got any questions, leave them as comments in this video. I've um, got a Facebook page, I've got Tumblr, I've got Twitter. Links in the description. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you again real soon.